All right, everybody, what is up? What is going on? Welcome back to another video, another Texas, North Texas video. I mean, what a fucking sick hoodie this is. Silver, white, and green. I absolutely love it. So William, my man William Quinn from Texas, thank you very much for sending it to me, as well as all the other stuff. You've probably seen it in the previous video, but today we've got one mission, one mission only, to watch Beyond the Green 2018, which is the behind the scenes show uh, about the Mean Green North Texas. So here we are, Mean Green Sports is the YouTube channel, and we're going to check it out. Subscribers, 2.4K, I'll give you another one. And uh, what are we going to watch here? What have we got? 2018, Beyond the Green, 2018. I guess, holy shit, they're 26 minutes long. Okay, <laughs> let's watch episode number one. The quicker you here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Let's do that. Nick Minute. Do you never wanna, you know, lose your last game? You know what I'm gonna try? I'm gonna try in this video, because the volume's not that good, I am going to attempt to watch it with my headphones and then download the video and have the overlay of just my voice and then the, t the sound of the video when I put it together. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm gonna put this on. And uh, the sound of the video you hear will be from the actual file, which hopefully will include, will not include, will improve the sound quality. And now I look like a freaking coach. <laughs> I've looked like a coach, don't I? I'm running along the sidelines. 15 yard penalty. All right, let's do this. Um, sweet. I've got some good sound now. I just won't be able to pause pause the, uh, the video. Otherwise it's gonna make it so hard to edit, so. Here we go. Great. Losing another bowl game two years in a row, and especially when we we had the team for it, there's no excuses for us to lose. And the way we went out was pretty, it was sad, honestly. I don't know how they felt for myself. It's something that Marty you, know, wanna, you know, lose your last game of the season. Hey, we didn't do enough. We didn't do enough as a coaching staff. We didn't do enough as a team to get that win. I apologize for getting a call permission today. Like I said, you've accomplished a lot. you have set the foundation. In the development of a program, when you're going from one year to the next, whether you accomplish the mission or you didn't accomplish the mission, there's a new year that's starting uh, the two days after the bowl game. Use that time to get them as big, as strong as we can, and then evaluate them during spring ball to see how they're moving, what we need to do with their bodies come summer. You know, leaving that game behind and then just starting over, start from scratch, you know, getting all your weapons and then getting ready for battle. Obviously the bowl game was a heartbreaking loss, but at the same time it just added more fuel to our fire. And that spring we started attacking. You gotta overcome it as a team. We gotta step up and be much better on defense. We gotta be better up front, protecting our quarterbacks and receivers. We gotta do a much better job of all the way around. Everybody has to pick up the slack. No one's going to sit around and talk about the last season anymore. It's about what we're doing forward. It's about the work that we put in to develop. Bang. And that's really the focus is what are we doing moving forward to become elite. It's year three for us now, so guys are bought in. You know, every year you got to try to get more and more out of them. So it's understanding 
where we started and where we're at and what kind of players we have and being able to progress that so each year we're making sure we're getting the most out of them and develop them on and off the field. Everything's different than that first year. That first year he reminds was, me of a guy, that um, trainer reminds me of a guy, Ethleen you know, Hicks things, but from YouTube. We have strength a lot and of conditioning have trainer a lot of game as well. Experience and He's just lean you know, as fuck. Game experience, it's a different deal. And so not only have they been in the system and been around UNT for a while, but they've played in a lot of games together. When you have guys like that, you can try a little bit more with it with, with your guys because you're not doing near as much teaching. They, they know the basics. You know, some of those things, I wouldn't say they're they're new to the field, but it's just some stuff that we haven't done here with this team yet. And uh, and that's just because they're, they're just more mature now to handle those situations and, and some of the techniques and some of the focus that they need to have doing those drills. Yeah, I mean, you get more creative and figure out ways to get your playmakers the ball Bang. in different situations. It's the old regime, I feel like we didn't really have an identity. You know, we had what, you know, what kind of uh, drill was that? Was that a returning drill? Videos, and then we tried to take some shots, and you know, we never really had our true identity of, hey, one game we'll throw five times, and the next game we'll try to throw 35 RPOs, and your line can't get in sync with your quarterback. Your quarterback can't be in sync with your wide receivers. It reminds me of um, Baker Mayfield. This camp going on, a lot of the guys are a lot more close. And it's not just defense on defense and offense on offense. Both sides of the balls are coming in together. Last year we had really good team chemistry, but this year we're just more of a tight-knit group. And we're just having fun and pushing each other. And now it's kind of the standard. We expect you to be, you know, a team unity, being selfless stuff in this one. The thing is, with all the other pass camps I've been to, at least, that that's a bit of pressure. It's been nothing just, nothing been just like individualism. And now, like we're all coming together as a team and just trying to make it right this season. I've been here since 2014, so I, I've seen it all from players arguing with coaches, coaches arguing with coaches, players arguing with players, and you just didn't see none of that this summer. And I think that everything was a full head of steam with them, and we just believed in everything they did. How do you take your game to the next level? It's with the mindset of this culture is, you're not just worried about yourself, you're helping everybody around you. And guys are really embracing that. They're no really time for negativity, that. man. If I want to be great, I have to continue to make my teammates great as well. And I think Coach Trail and his coaching staff does a great job at recruiting the players and bring them into our culture that fits those values and that it's just easy to, to mesh with. This has been a lot of new faces, you know, and so now you're kind of bringing in people who believe in what you're doing. It's That's what college football is all about. Preaching. You got guys who truly are... That's what sports all about. You know, we talk about selfish stuff and discipline. Once you have that as the core of your team, it's, it kind of works itself out. Like I said, the kids who aren't doing it, either they buy in or they get out, and we're good either way. And so now, like I said, it's not truly babysitting. Now you truly can start building off of things. That character's growing. What are those it's braces on, on their knees? So now football. It also gets better. The first year we've been to a bowl game. That's cool. We didn't win it. The second year we had another opportunity to play in the conference championship and a bowl game, and we didn't complete those. So year number three, you know, we just came out this year just with a different mindset. Like, look, we've been competing for championships these past years, but now it's about time we win one. The past couple of years, our mission has been win our bowl game. It's not a mission because missions have consequences. What were the consequences for not winning that bowl game? There were Damn no. stress. There shouldn't be. Some of that's out of your control. Winning a bowl game, winning a championship. There's a lot of different factors. Coaches, players alike, preparation, injuries. So in my mind right now, what is our mission? Maximize our ability every day. That's our mission because there's consequences for that. If we don't maximize our ability every single day, there will be consequences. Maximize it on and off the field. Maximize it with team chemistry. Your preparation, how you work throughout the week, how much more film are you getting, how you developing in your football knowledge, how are you taking care of your body, selfless, tough, disciplined. And if you do that, we'll accomplish a lot. This season, keep your stories interessante, like Dos Equis, the beer whose label inspired the greatest comeback in history. Authentic Mexican. Damn straight, coach. 4.2% alcohol. 
by volume, one gram protein, zero gram fat. Yeah, total cold. Twelve fluid outside. <laughs> Dos Equis, keep it interessante. Now open daily, Epic Waters Indoor Water Park is epic in every wave. With 11 slides and attractions under a colossal retractable roof. <laughs> They're Epic obviously Waters getting their sponsorships from, from these family. guys. Year round, rain or shine. It's all good, man. I'll watch. Epic Waters no, I won't. Oh, no, I have to actually because we're... Mm. That does look like fun. Oh, look at those slides. Looks sick. Hey man, it's been a long time coming right now. Since you man, it's been a while since I've been on a water December, slide. You came back and worked your ass really off has come to think of it. Too long, actually. Way too long. To open up this season. Hey man, tonight, oh, here we go. The, game the way it's supposed to be played. Violently attack their ass for four quarters, no matter what. Yeah! We get the 2018 First game. Lego. SMU Mustang. The left hash mark from the 25 with West standing Violently. right has the snap. Short roll, right throws, complete, and Sanders makes the grab at the 32 yard line. So third down to nine for SMU the SMU Mustangs. Claps his hands, gets the snap, feels heat and is dropped by Bang! Smash him! The linebacker blitzing right up the middle. Yo, yo, yo! Third and nine. Yes, you got it. Oh, you nice got work! Big hit. Lawrence is checked in, slot right. Guiding outside of him, Bussy wide left. Motion out of the backfield by Easley. Quarterback draw and find Pools. No one and is smacked down for a loss. Punching one in here. They're opening possession. 8 38 and counting. Great First atmosphere, quarter. man. Play action fake. Throw over the middle. Caught into the end oh. zone. Touchdown. Guyton. No hole through there. That Cleveland hurt. Now listen, listen, what you oh. moving all over there. Now listen, well, it's fine. The DN got upfield real hard. That's right? trying Quick to slant. Him. Right, so did you tell him didn't Captain Cleveland, I called him. It's easy. Hell yeah, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Keep turning up. Let's go. Make sure you're loud. He said he didn't hear it. You need to tell him, and he needs to hear it. All right, but make sure that's on you. All right, that DN's high upfield because of the quarterback, right? This is good, like behind the scenes stuff. I, I love all this stuff. I love it. It's like mic'd up, really, isn't it? Their 33 yard line, trailing seven and three with 544 to go in the first quarter. Play fake, and the throw is intercepted. Keemon Hall is going to walk it in up the right sideline for a touchdown. A pick six. 13 to nothing. I saw that. Thank you. Good, Good job. night. Good job. <laughs> Beautiful. That's a great job of getting into the call, you understand? They look, we look, we got into something different. He didn't see that. Call it third and nine. Good job, Ajaya. And the snap comes from the 13. Running back is DeAndre Torrey, and they come after fine and sack him way back at the 25-yard line. Not a good block. So on to try his first field goal. In a mean green uniform is Cole Headland. It'll be 40 yards. Angle right to left. Out of the hold of Quinn Shanbor. Good snap and hold. Kick is on the way. And it is good. This be interesting. If, if go 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 on, I'm coming back. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Did that a hundred times in training. And here they come. Well done. And he will have to scramble. They've got him sacked back at the 47 yard line by Garner. Three in a row. Go BG. Yeah. 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 Great job by everybody on the check. First and ten. Ten personnel, right? Double screen. Great job just doing your job. You have to eat it. Clock pulling 14, 13. Mean Green have all three timeouts. Go! Go, timeout. Get ready, go. No! Run it. Quick snap goes to fine. Hand off easily. 
And the hit at the line of scrimmage, cut down, no gain. Time out, time out. They will call time and stop the clock at four seconds. Wow, they let a lot of yeah, time elapse, and they could have got oh. an extra snap off. What y'all want Big to hit. Hey, okay, just oh, that regular pay. Should have done a second one, Barkley. Jump cut to the, to the, we'll the, 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 the legs. Would we'll have been around me. But no. There was ever a letdown on a drive that went from your six to the one yard line, and you're looking like you're going to get points, it would be this drive. Evans ready, he is, good snap, hold is good, the kick is also good, and that's how the first half comes to an end. What do you call a great beer with more taste, <laughs> only 96 calories, oh. and 3.2 carbs? Oh. We call Thank it God. Miller Lite. Look like we what? are you holding? Miller Lite, hold true. I don't know, Lite? Lite, a fine pilsner? Miller Lite. I refuse to drink anything less than 4%. Waste of time. Now Does look quite refreshing though. I'd Indoor like one of those. Park is epic in every way, with 11 Actually, attractions under a colossal I've got a, um, a roof. Epic coaster. Indoor water park Sorry, is a beer cozy family. thing. Year round, now, what did shine. Buy your tickets at epicwatersgp.com. It has... Ah, uh, being this sports. Season, keep your stories interessante, like Dos Equis, the beer whose label inspired Big the Big Waters! Authentic Mexican cerveza. Four point two Indoor water park. Alcohol by volume, one gram protein, zero gram fat! Yeah, I'm not watching this again. Dos Equis, keep it in Half the time. 46, ho. You're now coming over to this B gap. You got it? Guard tackle. You're flying here. They're blocking down. Weiss, you're setting a pick, so give room. Get over on this edge. You got it, host? Okay. This game is by no means over. They're not going to quit. So yep. the challenge for you is to go out That's there right. and regain the initial focus, the initial It's not easy. The attacking attitude that you started Not easy with, at all, man. But be ready to take it to a different level. You understand? Yes, be ready to go and take everything you've done in the first half to a different level. Now, this next 30 minutes, we'll find out just how dominant you want to be. When we get down the red zone area, lock in. All right? That's the most important time. Got to get touchdowns of it, out of it. All right? Now, we got last drive right there. We went about six minutes. He talked about dominating the eight. We held about six minutes. Drove it down the field. Got points. We're about to get it back. Let's go play get to seven more. Well, ten up. All right, but we got to do what? We got to quit selling for field goals. All right, we got to get the damn ball in the end zone. Up front. All right, it all starts up front. We got to get the run game going. We got to do a much better job getting your ass off the ball. All right, defense, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Turn it up. Like damn right. All right, keep attacking the quarterback's ass. They got 24 yards because everybody's what? Doing their job on third downs. You're getting behind the chain on third downs. You're getting off the field. You're doing a hell of a job. Uh, special teams. Let's dominate. Holy All shit, how tall is that guy I that's walking through? They gonna lay down. They're going to come out, uh, out on this field right now and try to kick your ass all over the place. Let's go, we boys. Step it this up. This is our standard. This is our house. What this is, is it? How we play. Make sure 20 we nothing. Let's go out and let's go. 20 to nothing lead for North Texas. Oh, there is. No. Nah. Bang! Keep going. Oh, no way! Oh. Decent find against the three-man rush. Fires deep middle, caught Guyton Decent. inside the 15. He goes, still on his feet inside the 10 to the 5. To the He's there. He's open. Go, 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 go. Goal from the 5. Mean Green 6 of 11 on third down. Good job. Nice, nice and fine looking that way. Throws complete in the flat there. Smith reaches the goal line and touchdown. Good job, Rico. Good job, baby. Good job, right there. Good job, right there. Good job. Hey, where's JG? That's what I like, man. Everyone's like, even after every play, like people are, you know, Ging themselves up, Ging the other players up, saying, "Good job, well done, big tackle, big play." You know, it's 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 a celebration of some sort after every good play, and I think that does well for the team morale. It really does. I love it. Oh! That 21 should have smashed him. 
Fine, well protected. Throws deep over the middle. Reaching grab by Darden at the end. Everybody has to understand we're going for two. Tell these receivers. We're going hey. for two. We're going for two. Is that a touchdown? Well done. Fine with it. Corner blitz. Throw complete. What are we doing? Strong Down toss. One, which is over the goal line. Touchdown. Oh, Strong two, toss. Two. Two. Or. Two. Quick, oh. Quick. Oh. That would have been good. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fuck. I like that. Three touchdowns. And they want to go for two. Should have been a touchdown. It's fumbled by Nick Smith, and he drops it and is dropped at the four-yard line. All right. Let's go. Well, carries 28 yards now for Nick. They hand it to him again. He's cut down. Keep the pressure on. At the 24 Let's go, Chuck. Let's go. Yeah. We got him, Garrett. All right, Chuck. Yeah. I'm with you, man. You got to cut him off so we can get this A call to number three and out out it over there. Cole Hedlund will try a new career best. This is going to be a well done. Good kick. Effort with three and a half minutes remaining. Good kick. Plays into it. It has enough. It is good. Oh, he ain't slowing down. He ain't slowing down. Go, son. Go, son. Go, son. That's what you want to see. Fuck yeah, what a run. Nice. You'd be happy with that, man. I would be. See him leading the tackler into going that way, then bang. He's passed. He stayed on his feet. Well done. The final 10 seconds to tick off and the mean green. 46 to 23. time in school history. Water park. No. 46 to 23. Now open daily, Epic Waters Indoor Water Park is epic in every wave. With 11 slides and attractions under a colossal retractable roof, Epic Waters Indoor Water Park is fun for the whole family, year-round, rain or shine. Buy your tickets at EpicWatersGP.com. This season, keep your stories interessante, like Dos Equis, the beer whose label inspired the greatest comeback in history. Authentic Mexican cerveza. 4.2% alcohol by volume. One gram protein, zero gram fat. Yeah, total coach. 12 fluid houses. Dos Equis, keep it interessante. I've been here for a while. Mm. We've beaten SMU once, and yeah, it was a pretty good game for us, but you know, the other games didn't look so good. Coming out this opener, uh, beating SMU, that's exciting to be because uh, this SMU game is big, whether it's for regional purposes or recruiting purposes. You know, th this is a premier game for us. Well, considering this is game one, it's also the battle of the Dallas Metroplex. Like, who's the best in the Dallas area? They played very well against us the last couple years. You know, it's a rival, it's 30 minutes down the road. Not only do we have to play against them year in and year out, it's a great pride for our fans, uh, our players, and, um, you know, our culture. SMU is a great team. They're well coached, you know, all across the board. They have a bunch of playmakers, but we've been preparing properly. When you have guys oh, that right, have success, it makes them a lot more confident, and they just play with a different air about them. And it's so that's what I think we're seeing more than anything is the guys that have done it on Saturdays, and so they expect to be great, and they play and they practice at a different level. You know, they're, they're extremely confident in what they do. You know, everyone got bigger, faster, stronger. You know, everyone worked hard in the weight room. You got to credit Coach Walmack and his staff for getting us uh, bigger and faster. I think we're mentally stronger. You know, we're thinking faster. It makes us They wouldn't slow down, awesome. with it? And really, that's just the biggest thing. We start fast! We start fast on both sides of the ball! There's a lot more guys at every position, you know. It's not just 
the ones and twos getting ripped. You know, we have a lot of uh, a lot of incoming freshmen that accepted the plate and uh, accepted the challenge of just getting better, whether it's on special teams, offense, or defense. You know, there's a bunch of guys across the board that wants to get better and get in the lineup. Yeah, we've had you know some special players that didn't really pan out in the past, but you know we didn't have one, two, three, four deep that could be on the field at any time. So the drop off isn't very big from our starters to our second to our secondary players, you know, and, and then when they're in, you, feel, you still feel great about it. So I think in every position across the board, you're about three deep. The depth in all the positions are definitely more what? quality. The ones have probably been here longer, so they know the scheme better, but the twos are just picking it up right as we do. We know we're helping the young freshmen get in. Even our freshman scout team right now, they can sling it around and you can ask some of the defense guys. Well, yeah, you know, that's some, some speed, all right? Over there. My understudy, KD Davis, you know, he's going to be a great player, so I'm, I'm looking forward to him growing and just him learning the system. I think it's, it starts with Deion Noville. It's probably given us more right now, this early in his career, than maybe we expected from him. Rod and TJ and, and Hambone, those guys, they've been doing what we expected of them, getting better, getting more comfortable in the system. For me, in the linebacker room, I'm, I'm going to start with Jamie King. He's a guy that uh, was a tight end last year and was a junior college quarterback, was a high school quarterback. He's a headsy guy that has just soaked it up. Yeah, uh, offense, they have guys everywhere. You know, there, there's definitely not a drop off over there. With JG, Rico, Greg, Mike Law, myself, Keegan, we have a lot of players that, that are willing to step up and do what it takes to win games. We got different roles. Everybody got different roles in the room. You know, we got a blocking bag. You got a you got an explosive bag. You got a playmaking bag. That was kind of different from last year because last year it was one and two with me and Jeff. And this year we got a different doses for them. We've recruited some very good players here. Just going out with guys that you know are three like stars, that. four stars, five stars, whatever. Uh, you know, it's about going out, building relationship, and understanding who are the guys that are going to fit your culture, fit your program, uh, trusting your evaluations and then trying to get the right guys fitted into your program. Guys that, that really love the game. And a lot of people think, well, you know, they all love the game, and that's not necessarily true. Some of them play it maybe because they're expected to. Some of them play it because they have a free education coming with it. When you love the game, that also means you love practice, you love meetings, you love the weight room. Everything about football you love. And those are the kind of guys we try to find because then you're going to get everything you have out of them every single day. Good job. No matter where you are, I think developing is the biggest thing. I think it's a lost art. I think too often you, people get hoop love with the five stars and all that kind of stuff. It's like, can the kid come in, put the work in? Now, every time that a running back comes on, I'm, I'm looking it's really hard has, has been because our motto. We try to yeah, running back's my favorite week. position. It's really easy uh, as you get in the grind to just continue to focus on guys that are your top guys. Doesn't matter whether you're a freshman or senior, walk on full scholarship. Everybody's gonna have the same opportunities to get on that field. And if you're the best guy, you're gonna play. The toughest job for a coach is just try to figure out a way to get all those guys touches and get all those guys uh, balls and, and, and let them uh, put them in positions to where they can let their natural abilities take yes, over. Yes, they are, my friend. Well, I wish I had the time to, uh, to, 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 to watch them all, but I just don't. Look, before I do go, I do want to, I do want to look up um, hang on. North Texas 2018. They are... Um, what are they? They just played Rice three days ago. And they won 41-17. So they are... They played how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 games. And they are... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and two. Seven and two. Not bad. Not bad. So, I want to say, let's take these off. If you have enjoyed the video, if you've enjoyed this, this little delve right, well, quite deep into North Texas football, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe, even better, tell your friends, tell your mates, share the video, do whatever you have to. I'm just here having fun. As a rugby player, delving deeper and deeper into the game of football, I'm loving it. I'm not stopping anytime soon. And I'll tell you what, man, I'm going to be wearing this. I love it. I love all of the gear that I've got. I've got like 12 football jerseys in my cupboard. 
new ones, all different teams. It's amazing, I love it. So, as always, have a great day, everyone. Peace out.